Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be reviewing the OBS update, the 27.1.3 update. Uh, they have made a lot of changes to OBS, and so we're going to just talk to you about what they've made changes on. And so let's jump into it after this intro. <laughs> The major thing they have changed in this update to OBS is the new things you might see here. Um, the start streaming and the manage broadcast. Now they did have the start streaming and then start recording and then start virtual camera and then studio mode settings and exit there on the last update, but they've updated that and they've actually put manage broadcasts now. Now what is that? Well let's go ahead into the settings. Now if we hop into the settings as you can see here and I actually can make this bigger for you. So if we go to streams stream settings uh, you can see here that the YouTube are in RTP, RTMP and the Twitch YouTube RTMPs all that stuff is still there okay that's all your service streaming essential stuff, right? Server is still the same for all those. Uh, remember, stick with primary server because that's the main YouTube server that you stream on when you're doing OBS streams. And uh, so this, it was new. I came in after the update and I hit connect account. You can just hit this little button that should be like this, but it'll say connect account and it'll say in parentheses recommended. Uh, so let's pre press, press OK and uh, we're going to go and hit the manage broadcast button right down here and let me resize this. Here you go. So this is what we're just going to be focusing on. We have this manage broadcast button right here you just hit that and then this th window pops up so this is what you would originally get in the live stream dashboard so what you can actually do is you can like do a broadcast right so you could just say testing OBS right so you're testing OBS and then put in the description testing OBS right so then you would select your category and minds, people and blogs, public, unlisted or private is here from the live stream dashboard. So that's really nice because you don't have to go into the live streaming dashboard anymore and paste in all your stuff. You can do it all here in this window. So my videos are not made for kids just because I want people to comment on my videos. So here you would select your thumbnail and um, then we got latency and we have low, ultra low, and normal. And then you would click, if you're done with everything, you would click create broadcast. What that would do is this window will pop up saying create new creating new broadcast. So then all you would have to do really is this button here is now this color, meaning that you've already created a broadcast and you're ready to go ahead and start streaming. So you can click start streaming. So if I click start streaming right now, it's going to go live on YouTube. So I can sh go ahead and show you that right now. So if I click start streaming, it'll say no sources. You can add sources anytime by clicking sources box, blah, 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 right? So now I'm live streaming. I'm live streaming right now. So you actually can see this right here uh, that I'm live streaming at 21.06 FPS. So that's pretty cool and I hope this helped you out figure out what the update was all about and everything. So I will leave a link down in the description like I said and uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. If you are make sure to give a like on this video. Dislike this video if you didn't like it. Anyways, guys, I will be back for another video, and uh, I will see you then.